Mr. Williams is in the doghouse again. <laughs> uh oh. Wrong dog. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Halper. Oh. oh, good morning, Bunny dear. Bunny dear? Man, you better open your eyes. <laughs> oh, excuse me, you're not Bunny. And you're not Mr. Williams. What, what you doing there on his dog bed? <laughs> It's a long story, Louise. Oh, is it? Good morning, Louise. Good morning, Miss Williams. Good morning, Mr. Halper. Did you sleep well? I slept terrible. Just terrible. I'm very happy to hear it. Fine thing when a man in my position has to sleep on a couch. After what you did to your wife, the couch is too good for you. A bed of nails would have been more appropriate. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, it's a long story, Louise. I can wait. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Good morning. How do you feel, Charlie? Danny, your wife is picking on me. <laughs> Why don't you leave the poor guy alone? Isn't he having enough trouble? What do you do, Mr. Williams? Oh, it's a long story. It must be a long story. It takes forever to get the plot started. <laughs> Let's get the breakfast started, shall we? Oh, yes. Uh, just a minute, Louise. You'll find your gravy train under the kitchen sink. <laughs> One of these days, Irish. Come on, Charlie, I'll fix you some breakfast. Kathy, I just want to say, no matter what you think of me, I only did what I thought was right, and I don't deserve to be persecuted this way. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Miss Williams, will you please tell me what he did? Looks like I just caught in the middle of a mystery playhouse. <laughs> All right, Louise, I'll tell you. Yeah. Men. Men? Louise, never trust men. So what else is new? <laughs> a long story, not a new story. And every time I think of it, I get so mad. And it all started so innocently. A few days ago, Mrs. Halper was here, and she was so excited. But, Kathy, I don't see what the big problem is. I was born and raised in show business, so why can't I do it? Well, Bunny, after being a housewife for all these years, what are you going to do? I mean, go in to see your husband and say, Hi, hubby dear, I hear you doing a new review, and I'd like to be in it. Well, why not? I mean, it's a review about the good old days, and who else could they get better to do a, a little song and patter and a soft shoe and a shuffle off the buffalo? Well, at least I can do is go down and try out. Well, if you go down and try out, you're a cinch to get it. Why do you say that? Well, your husband's doing the hiring, isn't he? Oh, no, no, wait, wait, just a minute, Kathy. Before you go accusing me of nepotism, I want you to know that I am fully capable of getting that job on my own merits. Of course you're capable. Yes, and I'm, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to compete with those other candidates fair and square. And if Charlie wants to hire me, well, he can go right ahead and hire me. And, and, and if he doesn't think that I'm capable, he doesn't have to hire me. If he doesn't hire me, I'll, I'll just go right back to being a housewife. I think that's a very healthy attitude. That's right. If he doesn't want to hire me, it's perfectly all right with me. But, boy, I'd sure hate to eat the meals he's going to get. <laughs> Agent knows as soon as we decide, okay? Thank you, Mr. That's Williams. real fine, fine. And thank you, Mr. Helper. Okay, fine. Well, Wally, let's get the next one, please. Let's get moving. We got a lot of work to do today. You know, Danny, I'll tell you something. Uh, I think she'll be very good for the Ruby Kilo number. Yeah, but let's see them all before we make up our minds, huh? I'm all for that. Let's go, Wally, please. Yeah, come on. Wa wa hi. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Charlie, sweetheart. Hi, well, look, sweetheart, what is it? We're very busy auditioning right now. What is it? Don't, don't tell me. You need money for shopping. I don't need any money. You do. You don't need it. Did you hear that, Danny? She doesn't need any money. <laughs> Thanks for the good news. <laughs> Wally, how about the next one, huh? Oh, it's Charlie, dear Charlie, I, I did come down here for something. I, I want you to do something for me. A little favor? What is the favor? Oh, I would like to audition for your show. 
You would, you would like to, uh... <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> That's very funny. Funny, that's what I love about you. You always drop in with a little joke to brighten up my day. So, thank you for brightening up my day. Get lost. But Charlie, I am serious. I want to audition for your show. What, are you some kind of nut? <laughs> Danny, talk to her. Yeah, Bunny, I mean, uh, why all of a sudden you want to get back in the show business? I mean, you're, you're a very successful housewife and mother. Yes, I know, but there are lots of mothers working in show business. Dinah Shore is a mother. Judy Garland's a mother. Honey, when you bring home the kind of money they do, then I'll consider it. <laughs> I'll do better than that. I'll stay home and be the mother. Charlie. No, no, but Charlie's, no Charlie's. Forget show business. Honey, well, look, that's what you don't understand. I don't want to go back into show business as a career. I should hope not. No, I gave all that up when I married you. That's right, you gave it up. Oh, but honey, once you've been in the business, you just can't get it out of your system like that. It's, it's rough. Well, Danny understands, don't you, Danny? Well, look, but... See, Danny understands. <laughs> oh, Charlie, honey, you just, you can't break away from it like that. Oh, I can still see me out there on that stage, right in the middle of a baby spotlight. I, um, I got news for you, honey. I don't think you would fit in the baby spotlight. <laughs> Hold the purse. Ah! You just sit down. Funny, I'm gonna sing it. Funny, we got the music. Sit funny. down, darling. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little song for you. Just sit <laughs> There's a bright land, it's the right land for me. You've never seen land, that's such keen land. Greenland's the place for me. Why, it's nice there, there's no vice there, and there's ice there. To see with my Eskimo Tootsie on an ice floe playing footsie, you've never seen land, that's such keen land. Greenland's the place for me. There's an Eskimo maiden waiting by an igloo small in a palace near the Aurora Borealis. She'll prove to me her old Greenland love call. Blubber when you're near me. Take your England, take your Ireland, shove them into the sea. You've never seen land that's such keen land. A Jerry Double L A N D is the place for me. Pa! girls, and then we come up with flags and lots of balloons and things, and then the waterfall could come in. I'd do a couple of shuffle off the buffaloes, and then we do, woohoo, Mr. Mac, I play my head, and then we come out and we roll off a couple of things, and then I come up and then finally I do the, you know, the Charlie Chaplin, and get woo! <laughs> That's darling. <laughs> I'll keep you in mind, but I can't make any promises. Oh. Oh, all right, dear, well... You're the boss, and you make all the decisions, so don't you work too hard and Good. try to get home early. Yeah. Your blanket and pillow will be on the sofa. <laughs> on the sofa? Why, why, what happened to my place in the, in the bedroom? Well, I can't promise anything, but I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> Boy, history repeats itself. I had the same problem with Kathy, you know, a couple of years ago. Kathy wanted to be in show business? Yeah, on television. We were at a cocktail party in this TV executive sees her, and she's a beautiful woman, you know? Right away he says to her, such a glamorous lady, why should you be a, an old household drudge, you know? You could be on television anytime you want. Come and see me. So she went to see him. I don't remember ever seeing Kathy on TV. <laughs> of course you don't, because she changed her mind about it before she got started. She changed her mind? Yeah, with a little help from me, she changed her mind. Huh? How? Huh. Hey. What? Work with Kathy, why not with Bunny? What, what, what work? What? Oh, we got the setup, pal. Well, what, what is that? What? The sketch. What sketch? What? <laughs> oh, your wife will never want to be in show business after this. Why, what, what, what? Charlie, what? don't bother to thank me now, but I have saved you from the sofa. Well, didn't Miss Hamper get the job, but didn't she? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, they gave her a starring role in one of those famous old burlesque sketches. Oh. Oh, well, that don't sound so bad to me. Well, it didn't sound so bad to her either. As a matter of fact, she was very excited about it. The first day she went to the rehearsal, she put on her costume and she was all set to go, and everything seemed to be working out perfectly. Where's Bunny? She said she'd be... Here I am, Danny. How are you? Hi. Hi, Charlie, darling. How do you think I look? 
<laughs> Charlie, dear. What's the matter? Why is that girl dressed like me? Oh, she plays the heroine. Well, I thought you said I had the leading role. Oh, you do have the leading role. Do you 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 play the stand-in? Yeah, honey, that's the name of the sketch, the stand-in. You oh. have the lead, you get all the laughs. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait. All right, take your places, please. All right, there we go. All right, now get ready, kids. Now, I address the audience, I say, <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, going on with the good old days review, we'd like to show you how they made movies in the good old days. And so we take you out to Hollywood to the fabulous TNL Studios, where they are filming a picture that'll tear your heart out, entitled, It'll Tear Your Heart Out. <laughs> now, we open in Jake's saloon, out somewhere in the West. And here we find Rex Romance about to say something to Mary Sunshine, the school marm. Action! I've got something to say to you, Mary Sunshine. We're from two different worlds. You're a decent, respectable school mom, and I'm a low-down, miserable saloon hall gambler. I don't care. I love you. Ooh, my darling. Huh? Trying to steal my man, huh? Well, this is what I do to man stealers. Cut! Stand in! <laughs> Action! This is what I do to man stealers. Oh, oh that's a magnificent gesture. You cheated. He's gonna marry you with just one. Just straight. And you did it in one take, isn't it? Would you please get out of the way? Just love. Uh, Okay. Now let's get ready for the next scene, please. <laughs> now, little Mary Sunshine, heartbroken over her ill-fated romance, leaves Dirty Gulch and crosses the very hot desert. But after days of traveling, she loses her way. The sand is hot on her little feet. <laughs> and she's getting thirsty. <laughs> dying of thirst. <laughs> You want water, do you? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, now I'll give you water. Cut! Stand in! <laughs> I'll give you water. Going on with the play. Love has won out despite everything, and Rex and Mary have been married. Ah, but one of the guests at the wedding is Cactus Kate. Action! You'll both be very happy. You mean that, Kate? You're not mad? Well, of course not, darling. Would I have brought you this beautiful wedding cake if I was? You brought that for me? I certainly did. And here it is. Cut! <laughs> You're slopping up the whole thing. <laughs> now, in the closing scene, Rex and Mary are off to a peaceful life together. As we see Rex carrying Mary over the threshold. Oh, what's this, 
you're carrying me over. I am carrying you over the threshold, honey. What are you putting me up here for? I am putting you upon a pedestal where you belong. Let me feast my eyes upon your ravishing beauty. Fiddle faddle. Kate. I have one more little old wedding present for you. that word. <laughs> Kathy, I will never even be able to face Charlie again. Here, I made such a to-do about getting into the show, and, and after they were so kind and gave me my big chance, what did I do at the crucial moment? I ran out. I ran away. I broke with tradition. I didn't even go on with the show. Stop brooding about it. If I don't get out of here before Danny gets home, I'm never going to get any shopping done. Why don't you come with me? It'll cheer you up. All right. Here, let me help with some of this stuff. Okay. Danny, I tell you, that trick we pulled on Bunny should be written for a book. What are you talking about? I told you. If it made Kathy quit show business, why should it make Bunny quit? Uh, <laughs> I, I'll never forget the expression on Bunny's face when she got the bucket of water in the kisser. How about when the first knife hit? Yeah. <laughs> hey! What's that? What's that? What's that? Not so loud. What? You just had a horrible thought. What? What if Kathy should hear us? We're both dead. Oh, she's gone shopping. I hope. Kathy? Irish? Hey, Clance! She's gone shopping. Good. <laughs> Danny. Danny, boy. Uh, when, when Bunny got the wedding cake, right the puss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, pal. No yeah. wife will ever want to go in show business again. <laughs> Mr. Williams, I bow to your brilliance. I accept the compliment. After all, us men must always lord it over the female. That's right. To the men. To the men. Who shall always reign supreme. Forever. Until now. Go on, boys. Just don't stop talking. You, you go on and tell us about how the men reign supreme. <laughs> yes, go on, darling. Tell us about how the men reign supreme. <laughs> yeah, they, um, yeah, they, they, uh, they reign supreme uh, in uh, in the army. In, in the, the army. army. <laughs> And they reign supreme in the YMCA. <laughs> a lot of men there. A lot of men. And, 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 and in Congress, and a lot of men there. We all, we all are hungry. <laughs> and how about Santa Claus? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Now, Bunny, you stop that. Charlie, don't just stand there and take it. After all, no husband should have to take that from his wife. I certainly wouldn't take it from mine. May I, Mrs. Howard? <laughs> aren't thinking about smearing my face with that goo. Oh, the thought did cross my mind. <laughs> I'm tipping you off, Clancy. If you get any of that goop on my face, there's going to be a war between Ireland and Lebanon. <laughs> Far be it from me to start a war, darling. <laughs> That's the reason you found Mr. Halper on the sofa when you came this morning. Well, I don't blame you for lowering the boom, Miss Williams. That's what I call dirty fight. <laughs> Man! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Halper. Will you please with the Mr. Halper? I will, when you get down on your knees and beg your wife's forgiveness. How can I beg her forgiveness when she won't even open the front door? Well, you can at least pick up the phone and call her. Every time she hears my voice, she hangs up. She hates me. 
When we got married, she promised to love me. Now she hates me. I think it's not very nice for a person not to keep a promise. Just talking about being nice. If I were Bunny, boy, I'd really give it to you. Oh, hi, Bunny. Ha! Oh, just fine, thank you. Go ahead, hit me. No, go ahead, go on, hit me. Kathy, will you please tell my husband that I have not the slightest idea of hitting him? If I want to get rid of a rat, I'll call an exterminator. <laughs> Charlie, Bunny says that she has... I heard, I heard. Bunny, will you please be reasonable? Kathy, will you please tell my husband that he'd better come home? Come home? To get some clothes. <laughs> He's going to be boarding out. He might need some changes. Now, look, Bunny, I think you're carrying this a little too far. Kathy, will you please tell your husband that I don't wish to speak to him any more than I wish to speak to my own husband? Okay. Go ahead, be mad. Make me look like Black Bart, the meanest man in the West. If the boot fits. <laughs> While you're burning up inside, will you at least give me the courtesy of listening to my side of the story? Kathy, will you please tell my husband that and I'm not... And stop with the talking to the interpreter! We both talk the same language, and you're gonna hear me out. Now, come on. I want you to sit down and listen. Don't touch me. <laughs> you sit down. Just sit down and listen to me, please. I admit I'm a rat for what I did. But before you call the exterminator, I just want you to know why I did what I did. You and me, we got a good thing going. Happy marriage, a wonderful son. So when you said you wanted to get into the show, even for just a little while, it scared me. Because doing one show just might whet your appetite and you'd find yourself drooling for more. And if that ever happened, it could blow the whole deal for us. And I wouldn't want a thing like that to take you away from me. Charlie. Well, so sue me. I happen to be a selfish guy. I love my wife and I want her to be home when I get home. That's the whole fun of going home. That's why it's fun. <laughs> Sorry, and I apologize. And thank you for being such a nice little rat. <laughs> <laughs> now, as for you, young lady. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the birds with feathers of blue are waiting for you back in your own backyard. You find your castles in Spain through your window pane back in your own backyard. Say you can go to the east, go to the west, but one day you'll come weary at heart back where you started from. Find your happiness light right under your eyes, back in your own backyard. With a career as wife and mother, you don't really need another. Stay in your own backyard. 